All right, guys. So today we're gonna be talking about the different types of holds. Um, we have our model Colby over here. He's gonna be uh, kind of uh, showing you the, the routes. So first things first, you gotta chalk up before any hold. You got Jared taking care of our gym. Everyone say thanks. <laughs> thanks, Jared. Thanks, Jared. All right, everyone, before we start this video, um, we did want to just say thanks to all of our subscribers and viewers. Um, our channel is uh, pretty new, but we've been growing pretty steadily. And this is actually one of the requested videos from one of our fans. So here we go. Um, it's going to be on different types of holds, like I mentioned earlier. We're going to have our models, Jarrett and uh, Colby, helping me out today. And did want to remind you guys all again, as usual, to comment below on what types of videos you'd like us to make in the future, to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell so you can get notifications whenever we post up new videos, which is going to be on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And of course, smash that like button. It always helps with our YouTube algorithm so we can keep on making these videos. Thanks, everyone. These are typical jugs. So you can tell by how big they are and how much space you have. That hold right there, it's actually pretty slopey. It's only good in one spot where it has a little divot. Um, I'll try to climb up a little bit so you guys can see it. I'm in sandals though. <laughs> but it looks like that. Let me try to go up one more. Better view of that hold. So you can tell it's like pretty open hand. I'm you feeling can, a lot. I'm feeling a lot right now. Yeah, you can. Right here in the forearm. You can it's actually, very, uh, like, squeezy hold. Yeah. You can actually crimp some of these sometimes also. Um, the hold will change based off what you're trying to do. But yeah, I'll let you get off the route now, man. <laughs> <laughs> the best way to hold this is to stay low. Um, so keep your body low, just like that. And then that way you can build more friction. But these are probably uh, the holds I'm less effective at at the moment. This is an aret right here. What's a feature, Jared? So features are more similar to the volume where they're like at least outdoors, it's something that sticks out from the wall or something you can grab. So like this one that he pointed out. All right, this isn't a hold. This also isn't a corner or anything. It's there, you can grab it. So it's technically a feature. Oh. feature. These little triangles that stick out, these are called volumes. If you know, wasn't sure what we were talking about when we say there's holds on the volume. Uh, this is a, a lean back. So when uh, the route is sloped and then when you're climbing, you're basically leaning back. Another term that I forgot to mention is uh, called mantling. Um, it's basically when you throw your body up on a hold. Uh, so like this, you kind of pull up and push. In his approaches. <laughs> See, so here. So on the hold and you press up. Yep, and that's kind of a mantle. Show, uh, show him a flagpole. Show him a flagpole? <laughs> show him a barn door. <laughs> I can do the barn door. I can do the barn door. <laughs> There's the barn door. These are slot holds. So basically they have a big hole you can fit all four fingers in and there's just a lot of space underneath it. Really not much to say, they're almost kind of like jugs. Yeah, the only difference is it's, whereas with the jug, like up here, you can get in from anywhere you want, basically. These are more Slots, precise. if you come in here, you're gonna yeah. screw up. There's only a couple different ways to get into this lot. Yeah. Here we're gonna just show you an attempt of a knee bar. Uh, but basically you put your toe and then your knee at the top of something else and then just flex your calf and then that will usually have enough friction and force to keep you relaxed on the route. So you stick your toes right there, your knee on that one and flex as hard as you can. And I can actually rest with my two feet just in between there. So that's another knee block. Here's an example of a bat hang. So really the most important part of it is weighting the foot and having the core to hold you on there. 
Yeah, and he's he's not on the ground, guys. It looks like he is, but he's actually completely off the ground. Here's a good example of a drop so, knee down there. Here's a move called a drop knee. So you basically have your toe on that spot, and then you twist your knee in. They're not the best moves to do with your knee. Uh, here it's not very good for your joints. Up under cling holds. It's basically a hold that's flipped upside down. Um, see Colby's hand is like that. I guess this black one is kind of sick. Oh, it's basically the uh, same concept as an undercling, but basically it's a, a hold that's put sideways, so you have to pull on the side. There are pinch holds too, I guess we didn't really talk about that. So those are holds where you kind of engage your thumb also. Mm, and they usually end up looking something like that. So this is also another good pinch hold. Um, so you just engage your thumb. I had a, a really good friend, or a really good climber, who was also a really good friend, tell me when I was starting on pinches to get better at them, use your thumb on things you don't need to use your thumb. Like if you have a jug right here, and you can obviously just do that, engage your thumb, and it helps strengthen that muscle to get used to doing pinches on moves that you have to use it. Here's some more example of pinches. Pinch. Pinch. A flash is when uh, you try a route for the very first time and have never tried it, and you send it on the very first try. So if you ever hear us going, oh, where's the flash? Or you lost the flash. That's, that's what we're, we're saying. So this is what a slow, this is what a crimp looks like, kind of. Edge? I don't know, what it, I don't know. I'm trying to get a picture of my hand. Is that how you hold it? Pockets only have enough space for about a couple fingers. Um, so pretty cool holds. One of my favorites actually probably. Um, there's different size. You can have one fingers, which are called manos, and two fingers, three fingers, and four fingers up to them. Um, but yeah, this whole route was actually made of pockets. Can you show some of our supporters what the difference is between like a full crimp, half crimp, and an open hand is? Yeah, so yeah. I'll use this one. So, um, Full grip is doing this, where you get most of your weight. And like you know, he has a right. You get your thumb wrapped around it, and it just—it's the easiest. Not necessarily the best way to apply pressure, though. Um, okay. You can injure your tendons that way. So we got full crimp down. What's the half crimp again? Half crimp is without the thumb. It's kind of a ninety-degree angle. Just like that, and you're not straining your hand as much, so there's less chance of injury, but you're also trying to keep pressure on it. Can you explain what open hand is now? So open hand, um, similar to the pockets over there, you can either have four fingers um, or three fingers. All your fingers are at their stretched point. When you add the pinky, it kind of makes the other three fingers, or at least the middle two, go into almost a half cramp position. Yeah. An open hand is a less tension on your fingers, right? So yes, less chance so. for injury. This move uh, done by one of my friends is called a dyno. Um, we've talked about it before, but basically it's a dynamic movement. So he went from a kind of lower position and then jumped and grabbed the big jug. And now he's getting a high foot onto that little chip. So those are two moves that we haven't mentioned, the dyno and a high foot. Cool. Let's say thanks to our two uh, two stars today, Jared and Colby, like the Jack Cheese. <laughs> Alright everyone, so that's about it for the hold today. If there's other any other terms that you're not familiar with, leave it on the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to smash that like button, comment below, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell. Thanks everyone. Where's Colby? There he is. Ha, ha, ha.